not wasting time cutting lines with shorties that's fine telling her that i'm sleeping when i say writing rhymes phone on do not disturb when she wanna face time she said that i'm too focused uh, at, uh, aka durag bay aka durag debonair aka silk poppy um and i'm here with donovan we've got to do this interview Hey y'all doing? My name is Donovan Butler Jr., CEO and founder of RadCulture.com. It's Julian Turner, Dreadhead Films. How you doing? My name is Micah Holmes. I'm the co-founder of Overtime Sports Group. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Jordan Davis. I'm a sophomore at Morehouse College. Hey, what's up? My name is Anthony Johnson. I'm an international studies major at Morehouse College, and I'm from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Boro Mayors. I'm a sophomore English major, pre-law from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Joshua Jones. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm a sophomore at Morehouse College. My name is Kaylin Asher Jones. I'm a sophomore here at Morehouse College, and I'm from Oakland, California. What's going on, y'all? My name is Christian Capers. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a second year here at Morehouse College. What's up with the rag culture? Does rag culture mean to me? Um, I feel like rad culture is a beautiful way to express yourself as a black man in society, especially at an institution that I attend, which is Morehouse College. And I'm around black men all day, and I see them saying uh, we express ourselves in different ways, and do rag is one of them. To me, rad culture is just a bunch of dudes who embrace having a do rag and trying to get ways. To me, it's just a bunch of a bunch of people out there just following after each other. Some people know that they they don't got waves or can't get waves or not even putting the effort towards it, but they put a do rag on, like a bad hair day or something like that. It's just just something. It's just a trend trying to be started. Culture mean to you? To me, rag culture is something that started recently, and I feel like it's just something that's also empowering Black people. Rag culture is being happy and, and knowing that just because you have a do rag on, that doesn't mean that you're not a school boy. That don't mean that you can't get this job or you can't do something else over there. This is just how we take care of ourselves. This is self-care and nothing more. I think the rag culture is just empowering black people. I mean, rag culture to me is a, it's a way of living, you know. Every day I wake up, I brush my hair, I put the moisturizer in my hair, and I put my do-rag on because that's the way I want to be perceived out here. I want to be perceived as a man that got waves, that's drowning other people out here. I want to influence other people to get waves just like me, people with curly hair that all their whole life, all they ever had was big, bountiful curls, but now they want waves because they see me that got it. So I just want to influence other people out here. Honestly, rag culture means a lot to me since a young age. My older brothers and my father yeah, taught me how to do rag my hair up, man. Grab the waves before I go to bed. So each and every day, like, it's a part of me at this point. I go to every time before I go to bed, grab the waves up with sleep. Rad culture, it's a part of my culture, it's a part of who I am, it's what I do to lay my hair down for when I want to look nice for a meeting, or for when I have an interview, or when I want to look nice for class, or when I'm going out with a girl. It's something that I use to keep my style up, to keep my image up, and to lay my hair down. Um, rad culture is preservation of um, our culture, of our bodies, um, it's just reclaiming our narrative. Uh, I guess rad culture to me just means like, I guess something a, a community a community of us brothers here at Morehouse and just not at Morehouse across the nation as African American brothers were able to I guess come together and do something positive. Uh, setting the standard in, in the world, you know, just in terms of style. Uh, rag culture to me uh, is everything that my family uh, instilled in me since birth. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, it's black culture. It's my culture, and it's just a part of my way of life. Definitely a negative connotation with wearing a do-rag, just simply because, you know, when you go outside and your mom see you have that on, or your pop see you have that on, but they, they tell you to take that off quick. And it's not because they think negative, negatively of you, that's because the people that actually mean something, those are the people that don't want to see you do that. Those are the people that don't want to see you wear this because this is something that symbolizes blackness. So. Uh, yeah, immediate, but um, it's, it's, uh, it's not fact, you know, by any um, I definitely think there has been a negative connotation with wearing do-rags before, and I kind of think they're 
which might be a small one now, but I think RadCulture.com is shifting the narrative. Uh, I definitely do, um, outside of the community, because people don't understand what it means, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happens under here, you know what I'm saying? Like, even even if you're wearing it as an accessory, people, you know what I'm saying, it's associated with something that is negative or something that, you know what I'm saying, is deemed uh, bad, but, um, I mean, people, you know what I'm saying, like, people not gonna understand that they're not a part of the culture. Yes, I think a lot of people view wearing a do-rag as somebody who is thuggish or, you know, they live a gangster type of life. No, a do-rag is for everybody. I'm pretty sure President Obama, when he went to night, when he went to school tonight, he pulled up in his do-rag. You know, Michelle ran her hands over his ways because that's something that, it stretches between classes. It's not something that should be just segregated to the lower class people. It's something that, it's always, it, it should be for all black people and even some white individuals that got kinky hair like us. Everybody should be able to wear it. I think there has been one and uh, thus probably decades, uh, decades ago where it was probably a negative connotation being in thugs, like criminals used to be associated with that kind of stuff. But I think we're kind of changing those uh, preconceived notions about us and just changing the culture, making it a rad culture. I don't specifically think there's a negative connotation with wearing a do-rag, but I do believe there's a time and place for when one should be worn. I mean, obviously it is. If you go into class with a do-rag on or you're just walking around with a do-rag on, it's like, why, why are you doing that? So I feel like it is. If I'm in the comfort of my own room like I am now, of course I have my do-rag because if I'm laying down, I don't want my hair to get messed up. Kind of like a woman with a bonnet. Why would you go to class with a bonnet on or go to the cafe with a bonnet on? It's like, that's not professional. Uh, Absolutely not. It's just, I do believe that there is a time and place you need to wear, those, uh, wear a do-rag though. So, uh, don't, definitely don't wear them in professional settings. But, uh, like say, if I want to walk to class, <laughs> I'm going to wear my do-rag and I don't really care. I feel like in the early 2000s it was, but as we're in 2017, we can see that viral videos such as Do Rag Day at Morehouse College and other HBCUs are adopting this, that rag culture is actually coming into pop culture. Right now, I think it's more for style, but it should be for hair care, because I've been seeing a lot of people that wear do rags and they waves just looking. No, it ain't looking A1. I've been seeing people with sideways waves. I've been seeing people with, you know, they got 90 degree waves. They, only, they ain't got it right here. That's all they got. They ain't got no sideways. Like, you know, people, they need to start actually taking it seriously. This is not just a style. This is a movement. This is a lifestyle. You need to use the do-rag effectively. Unless, if you're not, you're just wasting the do-rag. Now they're definitely mostly for style. Uh, and the reason I say that is because everybody pretty much pays, they pay a lot of attention to the do-rag that you have on now. Like me personally, I don't have waves no more, but I still like to style my do-rags because I still take care of my hair. Like I still like to tie it up because I usually rock some plait braids. So I think it's for hair care, but it, right now it's mostly for style. Mm, depends on the person. Me personally, I do it for hair care. I take my do-rag off right now, waves when we spinning, but a lot of people just be like, like I said, I'm having a, a bad hair day and I don't want to put on a hat. I might as well put on a do-rag to make it look like I care about my hair. Um, I think it's mostly, it's still for waves in my opinion, but uh, people starting to mix and match it with whatever they got going on. But either way it's possible as long as you promote the culture, I feel like. I think it's, uh, it's both because I can, I definitely put mine on before I go to bed, but you know, if I might have a, a one that matches my shoes or matches my clothes, I might throw it on wear the class or something, but that's just how it is. I uh, for both, um, for hair care initially, but now it's just to make a statement, so it's a part of the style. I definitely think it's for both. I've seen some people who walk out the room with a clean fence and a do-rag looking pretty clean with it. But then I, I also know for a fact that uh, I need to wear this when I go to sleep to make sure that my hair looks good when I wake up in the morning. I think the, I think do rags are both. Um, right now you have a lot of people styling with um, all the viral videos and all the do rag days. Um, but uh, mainly, mainly it was originated for hair care, for um, laying your hair down, for getting waves. But now you know if you got a fresh fit, you want to put a logo on it, or you want to. Um, Match it with your shoes, it's, it's a goal because everybody's out wearing do-rags now. Um, 
they're used yeah. for both of them, here and style, because I know people that have a fire fit and they want to throw on a do rag that matches the shoes or the shirt or the jeans that you got on. But people also use it for uh, hair care as well to lay their hair down, like I said before. Satin, all day. Satin pillows. We we talking about the cap? I know, but I'm saying, wear satin do rags. Sleep on satin pillows if you want to have people swimming. That's what I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna go silk, bro. I'll be having a silk. My waves transform. So you gotta go silk. It's, you know, it's better. It's better for your head. Silk. Silk all the way. Every day. Silk. Um. If I'm being honest with you, well, I'm from Will got a pick on this silk and, you know, satin finish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm not for real though. Like, to me, if you if you got waves though, I would go ahead and get the silkies because, to be honest, that'll probably give you the best results. But for other people, people will be like, why you got a do-rag on and, you, and then you got braids under and you got hair? It's like, bro, I do this. I take care of myself for real. Like, I don't even need the silky. You could get... I like to let my hair breathe, you know what I'm saying? We got flavors, all that. They don't gotta be just silky, you know what I'm saying? But nah, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> silk or satin, um, it's whichever one you wanna buy. <laughs> So you have waves, right? Yeah. Let's see them. It's not the time right now. <laughs> it's too hot outside. The sun. Let's see the waves. Right. My waves are a little, they're a little dry right now. They're a little thirsty. Catch me on a better day. I.